here are my monthly favourites. Number one of my favourites, I discovered this um, on a recent work trip I went with Singtel and Good Stuff and it's the guys from the Good Stuff agency that gave me this thing called Heat Expulsion Powder. Sounds very high level and all that but it's actually it's actually some kind of Chinese herbal mix. So I think Yuan Zhang they made it such that it's um, easy for people who are not acquainted with TCM stuff to be able to consume, uh, consume it. It comes in a little sachet so it's kind of like making Milo except not. And then you pour hot water, you stir it and that's it. So it's good because it's very convenient. Okay, I can't say it tastes nice. Like, um, I don't particularly like the taste at all. Um, but what I do is I make it kind of warm-ish so that I can gulp it down just in one quick all the way and then I follow up with like a lozenge or something to cut the taste but I, I really think it helps um, I've never believed in this idea of heatiness it's always seemed a very strange concept especially because my mom is a nurse so I've always been brought up like with western medicine but I have to say on this trip I felt a bit um, what the Chinese would call heaty I took this and it really helped uh, it helps like when my throat sounds like that and when my body just feels generally a bit out of sorts but not ill enough to see a doctor heat expulsion powder I now swear by it even though it doesn't taste very nice alright so I actually have a favourite shampoo for this month it's by Provana and it's called The Perfect Blonde oh, thank you darling um, you know since going blonde I've gotten a lot of people asking me how do I maintain the colour so that it looks like that and doesn't look like really yellow um, the trick is in a toning shampoo so this is a purple toning shampoo on the colour wheel purple is the opposite colour to yellow so it, it kind of neutralizes you know the yellowness in the blonde a warning though when you use this it kind of gets under your nails a bit so it, your nails turn a bit purple and it's it's not the most fun experience but it does smell nice um, it leaves the hair soft and it really does keep the blonde looking fresh and not looking like some alien from the 90s you know what kind i'm talking about right so i said i did um three trips back to back this month i have clothing hauls from like two of them which i might do in a separate video let me know if you want to see that but this is my current favorite from one of the trips so this was a trip to bangkok with pomelo fashion and i just had to buy this it was uh, they had a pop-up store and i mean what's not to love it says fan fatel again why thank you it's white which i i mean i have way too many t-shirts firstly and then white t-shirts and this is a white t-shirt it has just the tiniest bit of stretch so it sits really nicely but not too much that it's fitted because it's still kind of a boxy shape and the green print i don't really have a t-shirt of green print it looks really fresh like if you pair the green i don't know somehow if you pair it with like a pink bottom it looks very fresh and unexpected of course it goes well with denim uh with yellow i don't know just really nice and one of my absolute favorites which i'm wearing to death since getting it this month well, this month we actually have a beauty product and you know, I don't really talk a lot about beauty products just because I use mostly the same stuff. Uh, but if you would like me to do, you know, a review of beauty products that I like or I don't like, uh, let me know in the comment box below. This is one that I actually really like, it's by MAC. So MAC is one of my preferred makeup brands for sure. And this is a collaboration between MAC and Patrick Star. I say Star because his name is spelled. Star with triple R's. Um, so okay, this sounds really swaku, but I had no idea who Patrick Star was. I know, but I'm no beauty guru, right? I just use stuff that looks nice, or if people send them to me, I will try them out, and if I like them, I'll use them. So in this case, Max sent me this. Um, this is not a sponsored video. They just sent me this, I guess, to use, and I really like it because the colors are so wearable. Like it just has four colors, and I actually really like all four colors, which. How rare is that really? So you have like a, a gold which I use under the eyes, a very neutral one which I just use over the lids. A more, I don't even know what colour this is, mauve-ish tone, pinkish, which I also use over the lids and then there's this deeper mauve which I just use to line like the top, I don't really use eyeliner so I just use it to kind of with a thin brush to line the top lid and a little bit on the bottom. Um, yeah, so I really like this because it's so fast free, it's so light. I actually like all the colors and the packaging. You know, MAC eyeshadows come in with this. Um, can you see? It's magnetic. So I really like it. It's very good for me. Girls on the go. This is like easily done in the car. 
yes, I have a girl in the girl video where I did my makeup, full makeup in the car. So to me, packaging that's easy is very important. In fact, I've been thinking of doing a video on packaging that I absolutely hate. Like, I have products that I've kept for years that I really like but I hate the packaging of. So let me know if you think that's a good idea. Drop me a line in the comment box below if you think I should do that video. But for now, yes, Patrick Star and the name of this palette is Goal Getter. What's not to love? Alright, another favourite for the month is this body lotion. Again, let me try to get this focus. It's... I've never heard of this brand, but apparently it's made locally in Australia. So, a friend of mine went to Australia, Mel, and she bought me this and... Oops. <laughs> I, just... I absolutely love it because, you know, it has a very like... It smells like a spa basically. I don't... I'm very bad at describing this. It has sweet almond oil, cocoa butter, shea butter, and avocado oil. So I really like it because it's very moisturizing and it smells amazing. So I'm not sure you can get it here, but I'm sure you have friends in Australia or I'm sure you can get it online somewhere. So current favorite body lotion. What you thinking? You think that you could be better off with somebody new? No, oh, oh, baby, no. Okay. So the reason why I like this song is, I mean, it's just very catchy. There's a sort of sexy vibe to it, which I always like in the song. Um, Kalani comes in later in the song, and I think I liked one of her other songs, um, or rather one of her other songs featured as a favourite in, in one of my previous monthly favourites. That's because she has this really, really haunting voice that is unmistakable, very distinct, and um, just, just so beautiful. So when she comes in in the second verse, that just made the song like, um, so much better but I, I liked it, I shazammed it in fact within the first few seconds because it's just the way the song is arranged the opening beats and everything, I really like it and then there's the lyrics like if you follow me on Instagram stories you will know that I am such a lyrics freak so I, I sometimes I drive and I hear a song and the lyrics are either meaningful or speak out to me at this time in my life or remind me of something from the past and I would sometimes Instagram it while driving sometimes I'm the passenger though um, and just with that particular lyric. So this one is good because it's kind of like an empowering breakup song. So I think if you're going through a breakup, you should definitely listen to this song. Um, I'm not going through a breakup, but I think that this song is great because it, yeah, it's empowering and it's kind of saying that, you know, I tried my best, I gave this relationship my all, and now, you know, you can like, I don't want to see your face anymore. I'm trying to find a polite way to say that. Right, so those are my favourite for the month of March. Let me know, you know, what your favourites were for this month. Any books, any movies, songs, food, beauty products. Uh, let me know in the comment box below so I can check them out as well. Also, let me know, you know, if you want to see some of the videos that I mentioned in this video, like uh, packaging that I hate, or more beauty videos, or even like a book review. I am in the midst of reading three different books right now, not yet done with any of them, so I'm gonna talk about them probably in the next favorite videos. Otherwise, I'll catch up with you on Facebook, on Instagram, and on Twitter. Bye! And see you in April, my favorite month of the year. Doo -doo -doo -doo.